Today I'm going to be showing you guys five easy and quick transitions you guys can do on your music videos in Premiere Pro. Alright, so we have this new Kodak Black video pulled up here. So first transition here, we're going to go and we're going to cut every frame in each direction. One in the middle and then four on each one. And then we're going to go to the first one here, go over to the metric color and turn the exposure all the way up. We click on it, press control C, click on this one and then hold shift and click on every other one and then press control alt V and we're going to paste the metric color and they'll get an effect like this. And that is the first one there guys. Super cool, super unique, just playing with the exposure. Alright guys, so the second one we're going to be looking at is my fast movement effects pack. We're going to go under effects and we're going to go to it, the tiny tapes fast movement. And the way this one works, so we have fast movement, faster movement, zoom in fast, zoom out fast, etc. We're going to go into project, right click, create an adjustment layer, hit OK. We're going to drag and drop that in and trim it to about five frames. Now I use this on every single one of my music videos. We're going to put it right in between these two clips here. We're going to go over to effects and let's drag on faster movement too and just play this through. This is without it. And this is with it. If you guys don't like the way that one looks, let's try faster movement one. And let's try it right here as well, just so you guys see how it works. You guys can really add some high energy into your videos with this pack. Highly recommend it. Now, moving on to the next one here, guys, we're going to go over and we're going to create an adjustment layer again. We're going to drag and drop it on top, just like this. We're going to go over to effects and we're going to type in transform, drag and drop this one on here. We're going to go to effect controls. Make sure you turn off use composition right here and turn the shutter angle to about 150. Now for this one, we're going to go exactly in the middle, hit scale and bring it to 175. We're going to go to the end, hit reset so it goes to 100 and then hit reset at this end right here. And we're going to play that through. So you get a super clean transition. You guys can even zoom this in more if you want. Let's try 300. Yeah, that looks. And you guys can even make it closer together. Something like this if you want. That's a cool transition there. And now moving on to number four, guys. We're going to go over to a different clip. All right, so on this next one here, we're going to go back three frames. Cut it, three more frames, and we're gonna nest them together. And then we're gonna throw on lens distortion. We're gonna keyframe it at zero at the beginning, and then we're gonna go halfway, turn the curvature to about nine to 77, whatever, whatever fills the screen. And then we're gonna bring it back to zero so you guys see something like this. All right, guys, so this very last one here, we're gonna go to this clip right here, this little transition, and we're gonna open up our CRT overlays pack. We have 20 different CRT overlays here, super cool, unique looks. We're gonna drag and drop 20 on here, and we're gonna go through till we find the transition. Let's cut it right there to start, and then end it about there. And then going to the halfway mark, we're gonna put it on top, scale out, because it's 4K. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna set to the linear dodge add. And then boom, we have this really cool effect here. And that is five super simple transitions that you guys can do on your videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out this 3D floating lean bottle effect I did for the Lil Yachty Walk in Poland video. And I also recommend checking out this 3D, and I also recommend checking out this crazy 3D money effect. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.